वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डील विद द टॉपिक हेप्लॉयड डाई हेप्लॉयड डबल हेप्लॉयड्स एंड देयर यूजेस सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट the part 1 of this topic first what do you mean by haploid haploid is an individual having gametic chromosome number is called haploids you see for example if it is rice the chromosome number in rice if it is 2n is equal to 24 and if you if a plant has originated having 12 chromosome number only in all the cells whatever cell you take and you go for slide see the chromosomes you are having 12 chromosomes in each cells means that plant is having n chromosome number as you know that 2n is equal to 12 or uh, 24 and n is equal to 12 in rice so that individual plant can be said that that is a haploid plant as you see in the gametes also when through reductional division and through particularly the meiosis you are getting the pollen as the male gamete and ovule as a female gamete in both the gametes you are you are finding the n number of chromosomes in rice it was 24 now in pollen grain it is 12 only now in ovule also it is 12 only so if a plant is generated in the nature itself because of the its spontaneous mutation and if it is having the gametic chromosome number which is n number of chromosome which is 12 in rice that plant can be said that is a haploid plant so an individual having gametic chromosome number that is n is known as haploid the first set of haploids in flowering plants was observed in datura stremonium by belling and blacksley in 1922 since then haploids have been reported to occur in in many plant species as in flax cotton potato tomato rapeseed soybean sugar beet tobacco barley wheat maize rice rye etc so you will think that how it is happening how we are we are getting so you see everything is available in the nature and we are reading the nature and whatever we are observing in the nature we are trying to do it artificially so can we do it can we get it so see the occurrence or development of haploids the first haploids occur through spontaneous mutation in the nature so we have read it we have seen it we have analyzed it and we found it in the nature it is coming because of the spontaneous mutation so can we do it practically can we do it artificially yes it may be developed through induced mutation when it is occurring in spontaneous mutation through spontaneous mutation in the nature so at the same time artificially we can induce the mutation giving rise to 
haploid plants. So that is called induced mutation. So in some species, interspecific hybridization is also giving the haploids. It has been observed that if you are making some interspecific crosses, you are going to get haploids and these haploids are sterile. So for example, if you see example Hardium vulgare crossed with Hardium bulbosum has given the haploid plant. Triticum estimum crossed with Hardium bulbosum has given haploid plants. Triticale crossed with maize has given haploid plants. Haploid plants. This, is, this has been artificially made. In vivo you can say the thing which you are, you are doing in the field that is in vivo. So haploid may be obtained. You have seen you can get it through spontaneous mutation. Whatever abnormal plant you are observing because of the very rare spontaneous mutation occurring. Any type of mutation may occur. Maybe haploid, maybe male style, maybe for other genes. So you observe it, you, you try to see it, whether it is haploid. So that can be protected. Or you can induce through induced mutation, or you can go for interspecific hybridization, or if nothing is possible, you go for tissue culture. What is that tissue culture? The, the tissue culture method is applied here for obtaining the haploid plants. Particularly what is that? That is anther culture or ovule culture. You go for anther culture or pollen culture or ovule culture. As you know that pollen culture is having the gametic chromosome number. Uh, the anther is having, the pollen is having, the ovule is having, the gametic chromosome number. If you are going to get plants out of these, the anther or the pollen or the ovule, that plant will be haploid plant because that plant is having gametic chromosome number. So haploids may be obtained by anther culture or pollen culture or ovule culture. This technique has been used successfully in 250 plant species including above mentioned these plants. Shipra and Shipra Guha Mukherjee and Satish Chandra Maheshwari in 1966 discover the technique of development of haploid plants through anther culture. They confirm the origin of haploid plantlets from pollen grains of Datura. So you have seen that what do you mean by haploid? How do you get it? How can you develop it? All these things have been described here. Now I will be discussing more about the diheploid, double haploid, and then I will be going in uh, other parts uh, one by one. Thanking you very much.